new treatment being called a facelift in a bottle. It's a sort of invisible second skin that may erase wrinkles without surgery or injections developed by scientists from Harvard and MIT board certified dermatologist Dr. Whitney Bow joins us with more on this. You have our attention. Give us details here. So this is basically a breathable band-aid that lives on the skin. So it's thin, it's invisible, but it moves with the skin, so it has a number of potential uses. So first, it's actually been shown to trap moisture underneath the skin. So theoretically, it could be used to treat things like eczema, dry, itchy patches. But second, you can also use it to slowly administer medications mm. or ingredients like sunscreen into the skin. Imagine never having to reapply your sunscreen. Right. You know, but lastly, it can also be used for cosmetic purposes as well because it's actually been shown to restore sort of that youthful elasticity to the skin. So you can imagine using it to camouflage under eye bags. So how do you apply it? Because it's not an injection or anything like that. No, it's actually two steps. So you actually rub like a thin liquid on the skin and that's called a polymer. And then you apply a second step and that's called a catalyst that activates a reaction. Basically the end result is this soft but strong invisible membrane on the surface of the skin. How is it different? Because we've had different segments here on the show, and we'll see that you can get your bags done right. within, you know, uh, very easily within minutes. So, how is this different from other? Anti you know, the products that are currently available to do that sort of thing, you know, they don't last very long. It's very challenging to layer them with other skincare products. Sometimes they leave like a little bit of a chalky residue on the skin. You know, this technology, it really seems to be unique because it, apparently it's invisible and it also appears to actually be healthy for the skin while you're wearing it. So how it. long does this last? We don't know yet. Stay ah. tuned. So this is still very early preliminary research. You know, we really need more studies to be able to ultimately translate this technology into like skincare products you're gonna you know take out in the morning and start using okay you've told us all the good things but there's got to be some yeah. downside to it yeah <laughs> I mean, potentially, if you, you know, got, say, the wrong ingredient or bacteria trapped underneath the film, that could potentially lead to problems. But, you mm -hmm. know, so far, there's been no allergic reactions reported to any of the ingredients in the film itself. Is it currently available? Where, where can we put Not no? yet. Okay. Not yet. Very early. Okay. But so we'll you'll keep us posted. It is, right? Right. <laughs> I'll bring some <laughs> next time I come. <laughs> what do you mean it's not available? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Talk about it. Thank you very much.